Hello, we'd like to share with you um, one way of automating your social media. In this particular instance, I will be using IFTTT. Alright, so this is like if this, then that. I think that's a short form. So let's sign in a new account with Google. I'm going to use our Gmail. That's it. So we already signed in, right? It's as simple as that. So here you can create your own, like if, let's see what we have, if Instagram, let's look at Instagram, okay. So now we want to to post something on Instagram and then make some automation to other platforms like Facebook and Twitter. Now to post from Facebook to Instagram is quite challenging. I've tried it and was not successful. So I I found the best way is to go from Insta Instagram to Facebook and Twitter. So now we need to connect our Insta Instagram account. Connect this in this instance, just give permission for IFTTT to, to, uh, to use, uh, to access Instagram. So in this case, the best way is to have your Instagram already open up in a web. Okay, so here we already open up. So let's, oops, okay. So we authorize it according to the one that's open in in a, in a web page now. So we authorize that. That's it. So here here are the triggers um, that we can use. Choose a trigger. Any photo up a new a new photo by you, a new photo by you with a hashtag, any new video, any new video with a hashtag. So normally you just use the photo and then what we do, okay. So in this case, let's say look for Facebook pages. So now we have to connect these uh, Facebook pages. So again, it's best to have your Facebook open uh, so that it's easy to access. So I've already opened mine. So let's go to the Oh, I don't have the Buddhist community here. So anyway, let's just go to the Malaysian Nature Society. Okay, update. So what is the action? This action, with, so we have a few actions here. Create a status action will create a new plain text status on your Facebook page. This action we create a new link post on your Facebook page. Let's say link post. Okay, as you can see, it can be quite complex. So we go back, go back. Let's look for some standard solutions. Okay, so I think as a beginner, it's best for us to just look for the automations that people have already written and well tested. Okay, you can see here, like this one, um, there are 141,000 users. This particular Instagram to Twitter, there are 4,000 users. 
So the best is to choose a particular one that is suitable for your usage. So in this case, you can see here, post your Instagram photos to a Facebook page. It's already set up here. So you might as well choose what has been set up. And most of the things have already been set up anyway. Okay, so here we can choose this one which is post Instagram photos to Facebook page and Twitter. So since we have a Facebook, we have a Twitter, we might as well make full use of it. So we, we gotta click on connect. So it's connecting to Twitter now. We had already connected to Facebook, so Twitter was the only process that we have not connected. So here we can again the best is to open up your Twitter. So here I've already opened up, so that's easy to access. So you can authorize the app uh, right away. You can see here the Twitter account. And that's it. So you have um, connected the three apps, okay? Instagram, Facebook page, and Twitter. So in this case, we can turn on the notification. Okay, connection successfully updated and safe. So that's it. So you're ready to go. So whenever you face, uh, you post a, a Facebook page, a Facebook, uh, Instagram photo, it will send to Twitter and it will send to Facebook at the same time. Uh, this, because it's a non-paid, uh, it's a free version, uh, by testing, uh, by experience, it usually takes about half an hour to process so you have to be very patient with that if you're not so patient then you got to pay for this service I believe all right so that's uh, one process let's go home Okay, so this is your applets. Applets, applets are your little process, I would say. And we can go and see what else we can do. Explore. Okay, let's see the YouTube. Normally, um, and so uh, once we created, well, once we've uh, recorded the Zoom. Uh, meetings we can always upload to YouTube and then from YouTube we can um, what can we do with YouTube here are a few things okay YouTube to WordPress YouTube to blogger So you just scroll, scroll down and see what you, um, okay here, share your YouTube uploads to a Facebook page. So this is what I use quite common, uh, commonly use, okay. So we can connect to YouTube. In this case, so um, Buddhist Business YouTube and allow. Again, the best is to have all these applications open and ready to, to give permission. So get notification when this connection is active. Click on that. And that's it, save. And then there's a message here you can write. Um, just now you saw you can you can write a, a message okay and that's it so this is some of the things you can do with IFTTT and uh, the critical thing is that if you're not in an urgent uh, mode meaning that you can still wait for the process 
to complete within half an hour or so then it's fine to use this free version I believe you can use it on Zapier uh, you can do it as well on Integromat uh, but that would take up your free quota and you if uh, it can move it can be very fast yeah, that you need to pay uh, you need to pay for it for the services so normally I would spread out use IFTT uh, for this sort of function in Integromat for another uh, automation using Google Sheets alright so hope this uh, gives some ideas on how you can um, use automation with the zero budget thank you